What's up guys? Welcome to Worship Leader Hangout. It is so great. Yeah, it's so great to see you today. Today, I'm hanging out with my friends here at Faith Goose Creek Campus. My friend Taylor and uh, Worship Leader Karina are inside. Those doors right there are waiting on me. Anyway, we're gonna go inside, we're gonna check it out, meet up with them, and uh, just see what it's all about. Let's go. What's up, guys? Hi. Yeah, smile, it's Sunday, right? That's right. Oh, here's your sign back. Oh, thank you so much. What's going on? Hey, my name's Taylor. I'm the associate pastor here, and this is Karina, and this is Faith. Hey, Karina. Hello. We're really excited you guys are here. Thanks for hanging so out with us. you're associate pastor here? What yeah, which here? is a new change. So up until about oh, January, officially or so, I was the worship leader here, and then uh, you know, got into the creative pastor role, so started overseeing production, started overseeing photography, started overseeing worship, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then, recently in January, we hired on Karina, and she's been incredible. She's literally been with us since day one. It's A1 since day one, which I don't think you're allowed to say anymore, but I did. It's fine. Yeah, but it happens. <laughs> Look at this lobby. This God. is a welcome home. You this know? little thing on my own. It was actually supposed to be a little bit smaller, um, but uh -oh. when we were putting in the walls and everything, we realized that we had made the auditorium way too small. And right. so we actually had to bring the auditorium farther back to add more seats and chairs in, which you'll see how Sweet. compact it, that is. And so like this was supposed to be a little bigger, but yeah. we have a lot of space. It doesn't look like it, but we're able to use Okay, we have a little bit of space. But we're able to use it in a really, really good way that works for us and works yeah. for other people too. Well, let's so. check it out. Yeah. Before we go any further, let's take a look at this blueprint to get a context of the size and space they are working with. As you can see, the layout of Faith Goose Creek is very well thought out and efficient with the worship auditorium here outlined in red at 2,680 square feet. The areas outlined in yellow is dedicated for kids' classrooms and the auditorium with a total of 1,460 square feet. And this long channel going from front to back is their foyer that accommodates coffee, guest engagement, and kids check-in. Kids check-in's not right here anymore. In my opinion, it's incredible what all they're able to do in a space that totals to just over 8,000 square feet. So tell me about these, uh these signs yeah so a couple of really cool things in the hallway so there are four big pillars of our church know god grow together discover your purpose and make yeah. a difference those are four things we really want for everyone that walks through those doors and so if you've got a big vision thing make it in a big way to where people see it you know consistently and so we put them up on big make banners big put it on the wall. yeah <laughs> make it big and then say it often yeah so that's kind of a big deal for us and then we wanted to go a step farther right so we wanted to go now that you know God, what does that mean for you? And so what we did was we took something like visual that we associated with each one of the four pillars and we had a sign up area. So this is actually where all of our signups take place. This is the hub for you know taking your next step. And so yeah. that's the verbiage we use in our pre-service videos and all of the stuff, you know, we send people to this area. If you wanna do something, take your next step, you gotta come here. So there's a couple more things down the hallway. A lot of people come in and they say, wow, this is like, bigger than it looks on the outside because I mean we're in a storefront and so there is a lot more back here so let's take a look down here so this is our cafe area this is actually pretty cool this is where all of our coffee and donuts go which are the staples I think of you know the church today and so you've got Jesus you got the Bible and you got coffee and donuts. people come in they're able to grab a donut on their way to the kids area which is a little bit farther back down here this is our welcome home wall this is where we send all of our first-time guests so people who are coming for the first time they come and we've got a bunch of team leaders here they get a free gift which has got a little bit more information on our church it's got some gum it's got a pin that works one time so farther back down here is where all of our kids stuff goes so you get some more tables and so obviously this is where kids are gonna check in larger than life love that with a building that's our size space is kind of has been uh, so we have six staff members and with that we all except for one our campus pastor share one office and I want to show you how beautiful let's see it this is great so let's check out all the space we have everybody and this entire great. office is ours <laughs> so yeah pretty great. this is where we hang out these are the coolest desks of all time we found them in Ikea yeah so Karina's gonna demonstrate so shout out to Ikea shout out to Ikea not a sponsor be yeah. sure to <laughs> so when you need more wow. space, you just get rid of that desk. Did you see that? 
voila, right into the wall. Wow. Yeah. Wow, incredible. So anyways, yeah, so we use this room for all kinds of different things. Like we've got a new believers class sometimes that we'll meet in here. We've got some breakouts for different events. This is where our band will come and pray because like right on the other side of this door is our auditorium. So it's the stage and everything. But before you even get to the stage, we wanted to build some culture. Every time you walk out, you see this phrase. Yeah, they'll pray and then they'll all walk right past this on their way to the stage. All right, let's go. Let's do it. So this is our booth. Uh, we've got some really, really cool stuff that we're really proud of. Um, like I said, we're not a very large place, so we try to make use out of all the space that we have. And so starting here, we have our board, the X32, which is the holy board, I feel like, of like every church plant. We also use rechargeable batteries. How much are they? I don't know. Roughly. We get them on Amazon, I know that. Yeah, so I think we have like the Amazon Basics for the double A's. I wanna say for like a pack of eight, it was around like 10 or 12 bucks. But this is our, our soundboard. Uh, this is our sling studio, which I'm gonna dip into, I guess like right now. This is our um, main ProPresenter computer. It's our iMac that we run all of the screens that are inside of the sanctuary um, or the auditorium and so uh, this is whatever, th this is the display for all of these things here and also has our stage display for our pastor and our musicians and everything, you know, our confidence monitor. For... Does he ever stick to the times? Uh, We're on camera Always. Too. Yeah, right. Our right. pastor <laughs> always sticks to his times. He nails them every single yeah. Sunday. Like, we have full confidence. So, we also um... work for him, so it's perfect. Yeah. He did not pay me to say that. Um, and yeah. We've got two computers for ProPresenter because one of them runs lower thirds, one of them runs full screens. To kind of give you a little, little cool kind of thing, so we've got the the modules, right, that you can you can buy for yeah. um, for ProPresenter. You've got all these you can buy. We've actually purchased the master control module, which is incredible um, because it allows us to link. We've got one operator that can run this computer, but it's linked to that one. So uh, to give you a little bit of cool stuff, so you can see on the straight stage right now, what's happening in the room, that's what this person's running, but it's also tied to this screen, which is our live stream and our foyer screen. So if you see, when I click on this slide, it will change it over here. It changes here, but it also changes on the lower thirds on this second ProPresenter computer. Over to lights, we're running dot okay. two. Dot two is from Grand yeah. MA. It's the, you know, the, the base down from that. Um, and so we've got a volunteer. So we've got Ross McNear. I'll tell you about Ross. Ross is incredible. Okay. Uh, also, Ross is the human version of Gaston. He's much nicer though. And he's much taller. Typically on like a Thursday night or something when we're having rehearsal or something like that, he's coming in and right now he's getting everything programmed for the people who are gonna run it on Sunday mornings. And so he's got cues broken down for each part of, of every song. So like, let's go for instance, we can jump over to this, let's go back to God of the Promise, which is our second song this week. And so, this is what we had for as the song started, and you can see the face lights are gonna change. We'll jump over to the verse. We see now there's a spotlight on the singer, and then we break into the chorus, and then things change. So he's got every song broken down into a cue, like right there, and so it makes it really easy for people who are running this to be able to see, you know, like what, what's happening right now. Everything, there's message in there, there's all of this stuff, and so, he does this all based on the pro or the uh, the planning center service order. So we print out one of these as well. We yeah. schedule all of our services through this. We get everybody scheduled about a month in advance for for the different positions, so they're able to see all of this stuff, what's happening. So he comes in and he programs all of this stuff for this, and then the volunteer is able just to come through and run it the way that they need to run it. And everyone's on the same page and it works out great. So funny story about these drums. We picked out, our drummer is a good friend of mine, his name's Jeremy. He picked out a beautiful anchor drum kit, custom kit that was amazing. And so he found one, we got it custom made for us. We waited months for this thing to get made. And this is when we're still in the school where we're set up and tear down. Everything was being stored in a box truck. Tier, single tier right there. And so when it finally came in, after talking with everybody, we went, this is really expensive we don't need to store this in a truck. So we lost our custom drum kit, which is incredible. And so they decided to put it uh, at our, our original location campus and then we got a different drum kit. So uh, Cry, you know, it's amazing. But God made a way. So we found another Anchor drum kit on Craigslist. A buddy of Jeremy was selling it 
and it's very, very, it's as crazy as God, like it's insane. It's really similar to the one that we picked out that we made, and so we got it for a crazy good deal. But let's look at this, the actual okay. shells and stuff. Got a talk back for them as well. This is also just a cheap mic we had lying around. This one's got a on-off switch. You gotta have the on-off switch. Because loud. And so they're able to talk and communicate and we're able to value them as a person, you know, and give them the voice that they have and stuff. And so we got the symbols right here, the heartbeat symbols, they're amazing. They're real washy. We found that they just have this, the tone that we're wanting for, uh, for our sound. And so, yeah, so we've got the anchor shells, heartbeat symbols. As far as mics go, we're using, I don't remember the model number, but it's the AKG, that's standard AKG kick. Uh, for our kick out. For the inside mic, we've actually repurposed, I think it's one of those tabletop conference style mics. It's either Shure or AKG, I can't remember, but it's just kind of hanging out in there. And so that's going on. And then for our Tom mics, we've got the Sennheiser E, what they, these are 60, nope, 904. I don't need glasses, I got that. <laughs> and then we've got a couple of 57s up on the snare for snare top and then snare bottom. And then the C214, up for the overhead mic. I'd love to have two. We're gonna budget for it though. <laughs> so we've got just one up there and it does the job. It's, it's great for what we want. So what's going on over here? Our ISO box is custom made by the leftover acoustic <laughs> yeah, panels that, that we they had. They usually go in the front of that thingy, but that's much better. Yeah, so. That's kind of what we did. We just found that we wanted to see the drums. Remember, this is my favorite drum kit. And so we've got the cab and head right here. And so we just put one, put this rear facing and then have one of these acoustic tiles up front. And then we've got the, what is this? I've got another 87, uh, SM87 up under there. Yeah. And so we've got it closed in and got the head out here. And so again, not a lot of stage Ingenious. space, but it does the job. So that runs over to this guy. Our electric player is typically the one that's here. This is an interesting key setup. We used to have a stand that was um, uh, just flat across the top and it didn't have the X shape, but it actually had like the legs out like mm -hmm. this way. Um, but it just was not really working for us. The cables were everywhere. Everything was cluttered. So Taylor is really like, oh, I want this stand so bad. So we, we actually bought this, um, uh, stand here, which I don't know the actual name of it. It's uh, uh, ultimate support, but yeah. it's it's really nice. So we just have a piece of wood up here. I, this is holding both of our computers. So this laptop right here is what we're running our main stage out of um, for. And thank you, Matt Glendening, for naming it appropriately. GC Fire Sauce. Um, that's the. Uh, that's what's making that beautiful sound. Um, and then this laptop here is where we're running our Ableton set list. We started off by running everything through like one tracks channel. And so you had your clicks and then you had your like click and guide and then you had your tracks channel. So everything, all of your instruments were like coming through that. So it made it really hard for our sound guys to EQ. So what we got into doing was we bought a Behringer, uh, yeah, UMC Euphoria or something like that. But it's actually down here, it's really cool. It's USB to the computer and then it comes into here and the outputs are a quarter inch and then they go into the stage. So our bass stems for tracks are assigned to the bass stems channel which come to the stage input for the bass, which means that the sound guy can f use the fader for the bass and it shows up in our power plays for the bass. So everything is like boom, boom, boom. It makes it really right. easy. You can EQ bass as bass, you know? Then we have our keys here. Um, we can tuck all of the wires down this way. We have a nice little pile here, but we also have our talkback mic. Our MD is over here in this area a lot. He plays keys phenomenally, so. He's normally over here manning this station. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of just the basics. Oh, we also have our power plays, which is what we use for all of our anchored musicians. So our vocalists have packs, mm -hmm. um, wireless packs, the shore wireless packs. Um, but these are the power plays. Um, so everyone gets their own individual mix, which is yeah. like praise the Lord above. So we went with the classic LED tape, which is <laughs> Amazing. I say classic because it's so popular. It's so affordable that literally you can do it on a budget and it still looks really, really good. So what we did was we have the LED tape on this grid that we put up. And so you can kind of see it here. It's actually the black part. We've got that, we've got this, and you can kind of see it going farther down and all that kind of stuff. But we did that because we wanted to build something that we could attach fixtures to. Moving over to lights a little bit, okay. we've got a a big, uh, some kind of a stainless steel or some kind of like iron pipe. We have our face light, ellipsoidal lights on there. 
We did decide to keep two, this is interesting, I guess. We had two of the color dashes up on that pole as well, uh, which we turn on for Wednesday nights. So Wednesday nights, students also meet in here. They actually face down directly where he preaches. And so those are all patched into DMX as well. And then we jump over to the stage, which we can crank those lights on if you want. And that way you can kind of see the movers. So we've got R2s, the, what are the Chave R2s? That's probably Yes, I believe those are those. So those are, those are up there. Um, and they're on three sections of 10 foot truss that we've got bolted together with beefy bolts. They're amazing. Yeah. And so those trusses are up there with those. Um, we're wanting to actually expand and get two more trusses to put coming on the sides, yeah, kind of flying. Those are ones, yeah, there's three 10 foot trusses right there at the very back, all together. Gotcha. <laughs> they barely fit. They're right there snug in between the two uh, you know, in front of house speakers. And so. Hey, Taylor. Hey. What are your tops and your subs ones, while I'm up here? Well, you know, uh, truthfully, my, my dude, I have no idea. <laughs> we want to expand and get a two, more, two more trusses flown right there uh, for some side fill lights, because that's something that we're noticing for pictures that it's pretty dark. And so okay. uh, to get some more lights on there, that's kind of our goal. We also have our hazer flown. We've, we've messed around with the idea for a few weeks of having the hazer uh, on the ground, but we did notice that in pictures it, it looked like literally like the glory cloud is like, like, yeah. or like the smoke monster from Lost is like swallowing people. Yeah. So that's now flown and with the lights and everything off, you can't tell that it's on and it looks just great. It catches the beams, does what it's supposed to do, but nobody notices and so it's great. This is a small trick um, that maybe some places that have smaller auditoriums may not think about, but um, our all campus AVL guy kind of mentioned this to me. He said, hey, when you run your air conditioners, run them with the fans on. This is so simple, but if you run them with the fans on, the whole service, it always grabs that haze and diffuses it exactly where it needs to go and disperses it wherever you want. And so it just makes it, rather than having it heavy on the front and you're you know, putting a bunch of little fans to blow it everywhere, it sucks it up and puts it everywhere in the room. And so for us, it works really well. So if you have a small auditorium, maybe that's something that could really work Even for you too. Auditoriums that work. Our house lights are also DMX controlled. Um, we've got those patched through. We can adjust those. We set it up by uh, layers. Let me try that again. Yeah. Nice. No. <laughs> Come on, we can do yeah, this. I got it. I believe yeah. it myself. There we go. Hits me back in the face. So we have our very important uh, stuff yes. hidden back here. Um, we just have a pegboard wall. We actually used it for a donut wall for one of our birthday celebrations. <laughs> and then we have repurposed it. Um, and so we have like a bunch of our cable storage just to make it easily accessible and organizable. We have our ever important leg lamp, which we did. It's um, crucial. It's very crucial. This yeah. is like the heart of our worship team right yeah. here. I'm just kidding. Um, no, but so we have our leg lamp. We do um, a series every Christmas called Christmas at the Movies. This last year, we did a Christmas story. I think that's enough said, okay? Mm -hmm. this, is, this is a work of art. And when okay? you pay $30 <laughs> for a lamp, you're not gonna like, Put it in the storage area. You're no, gonna you use gotta it. use it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's gotta it's gotta be here all the time. Um, we have some of our devotional materials. We have some of our stage input stuff. Um, we have volunteers that come and like help set up on Thursday nights. So um, one of my practicum students will come, and so we have this accessible, so we can remember easily. Hey, what's that input again? So mm -hmm. just that here. Um, this is what this little cart right here is where we have all of our mics and packs organized. Um, so vocalists and um, and then the sound people will come and they'll grab, like we have our MC mics stored in here and labeled. These are just the Shores SM58s. Um, we have our uh, wireless vocal mics, which these are the SM87s. Um, and we have these all labeled and just kind of organized in here. Um, and then we also have the ever important, this is Taylor's favorite, um, depending on who you are, Neumann, Newman, Bethel well, mic. Yeah, yeah, the, here, we'll the just name. get the, Get that right there. Mm, yeah, the the glory of all glories. This was like Taylor's like non-negotiable when he was coming to this church. It's so good. This one um, is where we keep our wireless packs. We have the Shores um, just for, these are for our vocal mixes and we have one for our keys player. Sometimes like just depending on where people mm -hmm. are standing, someone else will use it. Um, but these are the wireless packs. So these are, uh, we still have power plays so each one gets an individual mix. Um, but these just make it so that what way they're not. Um, so these, uh, <laughs> I don't remember the names of these. These are the ever famous on Gear Talk. Everyone talks about the KZT or the KSTs. Yeah. $20 in-ears. I think they're oh, dual yeah, yeah, drivers. Yeah. They, look they are dual drivers. They're so cheap. They're like 20 bucks. Everyone has so loved good. these. We used to use the Shure, um, the 215s. 
um, and I still use those, but ever since we've gotten these, our volunteers have absolutely loved them. <laughs> like they, and I'm like, they're so much more affordable and if you break them, I won't cry. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. um, and cool. they look really nice and they work really well. And this is just some miscellaneous things. We got some mic clips and stuff in here, DI boxes and the mm. ever important Love that gaff tape. Like, I just, every tape. kind of tape in here, man. This is the side of the closet where you just shove all the things you don't want to talk mm -hmm. about. Um, also crucial. But yeah, very crucial. You need that space. It is a pleasure. Yes. We're Thank together you. right now. I know. We're, this is great. Yeah. This is really like, good. We're in, we're in the in same. person. We're not talking on the phone for hours. Yeah. At night. Pumped about that. Really late when I'm supposed to be on a skin. Anyway, thanks for showing us around. Yeah, it looks dude. amazing. I mean, just no all the detail. I really enjoy when a church like focuses on detail, yeah. especially with the, the leg lamp. That's like, crucial. That is yeah. super important. If you don't have a leg lamp at your church, it's a non-negotiable. Yeah. You might as well not even do church. Don't even show up in five days or whenever you see this <laughs> for it tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, Cause you know, it's not, no, I'm just kidding. But I appreciate you showing us everything yeah, definitely. and being a part of the channel now and Proud um, to be here. If you want to find out more about Faith Goose Creek, you can go check them out at? At FaithGCC on Instagram. Okay. Or you can just look us up on Facebook, Faith Goose Creek. What's your website? Faithisyear.org slash Goose Creek. Awesome. That was another test. Did you see that? Yeah. And I want to plug your uh, Instagram because you have an awesome oh, Instagram. I love my Instagram. Yeah, you can find me just at Taylor Clyde. T A Y L O R C L Y D E. That's really cool. I got two first names. It's been a pleasure, man. Yeah. And uh, we know before we leave every video, we I'm say. I'm supposed to say. Yeah, do it. That worship leaders. Nope. <laughs> that. People, Try again. That, that great leaders, great worship leaders are always learning. That's right. Never forgot it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hold on. Let's let somebody else do that part. <laughs> If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell so you're notified every time a new video goes live. And we'll see you back here at this channel. See ya.